It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today I think I've got a little bit of a fascinating video to show you. It is Punk IPA, Brewdog's Punk IPA. Uh, two exact, exact same bottles. Uh, but what you might have noticed, or what might have been in the news, is that they've slightly lowered the ABV. So if I can get these to focus and bring them to the, to the camera. This one is 5.6%, this one's 5.4% ABV. Yeah, I got it right. Uh, both in 330ml bottles. Uh, yeah, like I said, they, they've not changed any of the branding. They've just slightly lowered the ABV. Uh, here's the bottle caps. Um, very quickly, uh, I'm using exactly the same glasses styles of glasses for this beer review. It's very, I think it's very, very important that you do this. Um, glasses make such a massive difference to the aroma and the taste of a beer. It really does. I mean, it, it sounds silly, but um, I've been on a glass course um, and this is an IPA glass. And it would only be fair if I used two of the same style glass in this video. Um, I've had a quick chat with James Watt this morning, uh, the owner, co-owner, uh, with Mark, Martin Dickey of Brewdog. And what he's explained to me very briefly, it was only a very brief chat, is that they slightly lowered the malt bill, but they've slightly hired, hired, is that the right word? They put up a few more hops in the beer. So hopefully, we shouldn't notice too much of a difference. So first of all, we're going to pour the beers out, 5.6%. Let's get the, the, the older bottle. I want to give the dates as well. It's only fair that I give the dates. Um, today is boom, 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 February the 19th, 2021. Uh, this beer goes off in... Oh, come on. New camera technology, eh? Goes off in July. There you go. Doesn't like my finger moving. Let me keep my finger still. There, it goes off in July. Uh, 2021. Uh, this beer, the new bottle, goes off in September. So, July, September, there's two months difference. There's two months difference in the beer. So, let's, let's get the, let's get the 5.6%, the older bottle, open. Little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Give it a bit of a swirl. It's changed. Uh, the older version has changed since I last drank it. That's amazing. They, they've, they've actually changed the fire. I haven't drunk punk in years. I've not drunk punk in years. Um, not that I don't want to drink punk, it's just I've got so many other beers to review at the moment over the last few years. I've just not got round to it. It's not that I don't like it, I like the beer. So, um, it, it's definitely changed since the last time I drink it. It used to be, it went from hazy to clear to slightly hazy again, which is promising, I think. So that was the uh, Blue Coast. 5.6% ABV is in my Blue Coast glass this is the newer version 5.4 i apologize if this is uh dragging on uh, you know i like to speed through my reviews but i want to make sure that i'm covering all the bases here i'm being you know we'll get into the meat and bones of it in a minute but i want to make sure i'm being fair to to brew dog and um, we are in testing times with this whole situation of 2020 and 2021. And um, I, 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 th I think I know the reason why they've lowered the, AB, the ABV on the beer. But, um, straight away. Straight away, there's a, there's a difference. Old punk, new punk. Old punk is slightly hazier. It's exactly the same colour, it's just because it's hazy, it gives off a slightly different 
what seems to be colour on camera. But if this was as hazy as this, or if this was as clear as this, then I'm pretty sure it'd be exactly the same with the with the malts. Okay, aroma, old punk. Grapefruit, orange peel. A peppery and spicy. New punk. Now bear in mind this beer is two months younger, so you might have more of a hop aroma. Maybe the hops have faded a little bit in this beer. I'm trying to like Yeah, slightly fresher. This beer is definitely slightly fresher. There's more of a zing about it. There's more of a zesty zing about this this beer. But it took me a little while to find this. I actually gave up. I gave up trying to find the five book because it vanished. It vanished. 5.6% ABV punk vanished without a trace. And all of it, all you could find, it was literally overnight, was the 5.4% version. So it took me a, a while to find it. I was actually went round to my local Nisa store and um, I said to the guy on the counter, what's, what's that beer? What's the ABV on that punk you got by there? And he said 5.6. Check it over here. I need a bottle of that. Okay, so newer version of punk, bearing in mind it's two months younger, is has much more of a hop presence in the aroma. Um let's get let's dive into old punk. Very drinkable, very refreshing. Lemony. Lemony, lemony, lemony. Um, nice bitter, nice bitter bite on the back end. Nice, nice hop hit. The bitterness is still raging in this beer. Very drinkable. Almost a touch soapy. Almost a touch, like 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 a little bit like this stuff, like you 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 know your lemon washing up liquid. Slightly strange taste to it. But bear in mind, it's about it's about it's no more than one pound sixty a bottle, punk. No more than one pound sixty a bottle. It's a really cheap IPA. Um. Right, new punk. Very refreshing, very drinkable. I think I actually prefer this. I think I actually prefer this. I'm totally independent. I know I mentioned mentioned at the very beginning of the review that I spoke to James Hart. It was a very brief email conversation. I mean, extremely brief. Um, the man's a very busy guy. Um, this 100% independent. Nothing, nothing. You know, this is me buying two bottles of punk. I mean, Brudo. Brewdog probably prefer it if I didn't make the video. It is an independent video. Um, it's just, it's just. I don't think it's got anything to do with freshness. I do not think it's got anything to do with freshness. I think the guy was being absolutely honest with me. I think it was being absolutely honest with me. They've dropped it to 5.4% ABV. 
they've added a few more hops. So, so by lowering the beer from 5.6 to 5.4% ABV, what you do is that you take some of the malt build out. Punk IPA by Brewdog is their number one selling beer. It's sold in nearly every country now in the world. It's in nearly every bar. It's got to the stage now where I'm walking up the town centre and on my way there's, you know, when you've seen, back in the 1990s you used to see cans of Hofmeister or, or, or Cronenberg, like cans in the street, lit, people littering. It's got to the stage now where you see, where you see cans of Brewdog Punk IPA and, and Dead Pony Club and... Elvis juice, I've seen Elvis juice, you know, where it's dropped out of the recycling bag or someone's just chucked it on the floor. You see in Brewdog on the on the streets, they're, they're cans. Um, and that's, it's almost an amazing sight because when I, when I first started drinking Brewdog's beers, you know, they were a really niche company. They were a really small, tiny, tiny company. And to see that now and not really bat an eyelid shows you how big the company has got. Um, so by lowering the malt bill, it's probably tons of pro I couldn't imagine the thousands of tons of malt saving that, that, that they've made in these testing times, in these testing times, in these, this situation, this, this, this whole 2020 2021 thing we all find ourselves in um so so probably a big saving on brew dog's part i don't think there's enough of a drop from the malt bill from that 5.6 to 5.4 percent abv to really make a difference with the mouthfeel of the beer and the sweetness of the beer it really doesn't it's really tough to to find a difference but on the upside, on the upswing of this, they seem to have, have, have found a way of, of making this beer hoppier. Almost like they were expecting a backlash. Expect from, from the craft beer drinkers around the world. It's almost as if they were expecting this kind of backlash of, of the, the drop of the ABV, because this is where it gets slightly controversial. Brewdog, were, when they first started out, they were heavily influenced by the American craft beer dream, the American craft beer market. And the American IPAs, there was almost like an unwritten rule where IPA is 6% ABV and above, Pale ales, uh, 4.5%, up to 6% ABV. That, that's your pale ale. So even in James Watts and, and the management of Brewdogs, even in their eyes, even if, if you asked them and they were honest with you, they would probably say, yeah, yeah, punk IPA is probably now at 5.4% ABV in the pale ale market but that doesn't matter that doesn't matter to Brewdog anymore that doesn't matter to James Watt anymore because the beer has gone mainstream the beer has gone mainstream like I said earlier you see you see cans of Brewdog litter in the streets these days they sell so much of this beer it's gone mainstream and the man who likes the taste of this beer and is sitting in front of East Enders three or four times of, of the night of the week enjoying his punk IPA or doing a bit of gaming you know he's not going to bat an eyelid he's not going to bat an eyelid from from 5.6 to 5.4 percent ABV um brew dog of far far outweighed the cries of the of the craft beer world of, of this beer is not an IPA anymore technically technically it's not an IPA anymore they've, they've sailed way past that um, level where it's going to affect their sales this this will not affect their sales whatsoever it really won't it's a 15 minute video but I really wanted to analyze this 
When, if you have a look at my, my original review of Punk IPA with 6% ABV. So over the last 11 years, of, uh, since I reviewed the beer originally, it's gone from 6% to 5.6 to 5.4% ABV. Yes, the craft beer market, the craft beer drinkers out there are, are, are crying foul over this. You know, it's it's like almost like they, 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 they you know, we've seen this from over over hundreds of years. We've seen this from Green King. We've seen this from Marsons. We've seen this from Bass, you know, the lower end of the ABV. But they're still successful. They're still successful. Green King probably sell millions and trillions of gallons of 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 green king ipa every year and the, and the, and this is the point the common man on the street doesn't realize that ipa when it was shipped to india 250 years ago was around six percent abv it just wasn't it, it just doesn't hit people's minds in fact the the, the average drinker who probably drinks green king's ipa probably doesn't even know what the word IPA stands for. And that's the level Brewdog have hit. That's the level they've hit. They've hit that level of of the people they're now selling this beer to probably don't know what the word IPA means anyway. Rounding it off then, nice long video for you today, but I really want to get into depth of this beer because I've got a long history of, of reviewing Brewdog's beers from from right at their heady days, you know, where they were a small craft brewer producing some of the best beers in the world, craft craft beers in the world, to where they are today, producing, I mean, I'm not, fairly decent. For the money, I, I mentioned this at the beginning, you can probably pick this up for no more than one, you know, it's no more than £1.60 a bottle, Punk IPA these days. And for that money, for the drinkability, the nice levels of carbonation, the hoppiness, it's not bad. They've done a good job. They've done a good job. So I'm going to rate it. Old Punk. They finally tweaked it. They've taken down the malt build a little bit by 0.2 of a percent, and they've added the hops. Quite a clever, quite a clever thing to do because it's definitely hoppier. It's definitely hoppier, and it's not. I'm going to say it one more time. It's not because the older punk is an older bottle. It definitely isn't. Um, it's a. It's definitely. I. I. I've, I've had James Watt's words, and I. And I genuinely believe him that they've added slightly more hops to this beer. So, I hope you liked the video. Please comment. Please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.